kitty. Yeah. Uh, we travelled all the way to Bangkok to find the right surgeon. There's many ways to explant a breast implant, but I've got complications with them being ruptured and leaking. So I need to have them removed in the safest way possible so that I don't have any health issues uh, further down the track from from explanting and I don't want to have any future surgeries down the track if, it's, if it isn't done correctly. So um, I could have had them explanted in Phuket any day of last month. Um, but the surgeons that I saw there were not at the skill level that I needed to be able to take them out correctly. So um, the way that I need them taken out is called a process called end block full capsulectomy. So when you have an implant put into your body, for everybody, it, your body naturally creates a scar tissue around it and like a little capsule and it basically protects the body. That's what's happened inside my body, um, but my implant has broken and the silicon has leaked. So any silicon that has leaked has gone into that scar tissue. And so there's lots of toxins and metals and silicon in that scar tissue now. So for it to be removed, um, normally they would just cut that scar tissue and pull the implant out but because mine has ruptured and I've got silicon in my scar tissue that needs to be removed as well so it's called end block full capsulectomy where they cut the whole scar tissue out and take it out in one piece so that nothing leaks if there's any like fluid in there or leaking silicon none of it is going to leak into my chest cavity it's all just going to come out in one piece and so that is the safest way to do it it's the best way to do it and that's the way to prevent any further health issues down the tracks. It's just going to take anything out of there and um, then we close it back up again and and then the healing process starts. So um, I could not find a surgeon in Phuket that was able to perform this, um, and uh, but I did find one in Bangkok. I've chosen to wait uh, for the right surgeon rather than just jumping into anyone to do this. So. I'm feeling really confident about the surgeon that I've chosen and the hospital and um, yeah, I just, yeah, I just feel like I'm in safe hands and I'm doing the right thing and um, yeah, so it just everything is feeling really good about this, so yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Please. So you sit in the middle, sweetie. Cute little seat for your bum bum. We took a little detour. Our driver, he gets sponsored by shirts. So if uh, if he takes us to this shop, they give him a stamp, and then when he accumulates a certain amount of stamps, he gets himself a free shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so we did him a deal, and he does have to deal with the, with the cost of the fare today. So. But uh, unfortunately, Yosh doesn't need a custom suit. <laughs> Yeah, we looked a bit lost in there. <laughs> so lost, eh? Every man needs a good suit, am I? You're yeah. like, actually, I probably don't. I'm probably the least person who needs a suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, I'll miss the next one. Yeah. Keep your arms in the tuk-tuk at all times. <laughs> Yosh barrel. <laughs>
I did it. I'm a few hours post-surgery, but it's done. They are out. The doctor did a phenomenal job. My implants are, you know, despite them being ruptured, they're still intact. He got them out in block. Like I said, with that scar tissue still around it, holding everything in it, pulled it out in one piece. So, um, yeah, it's really, really amazing what he did. And he called Josh after the surgery just to let him know that I was done and gave him a bit of a rundown. And he was just adamant. He's like, I got everything out of there. There's nothing left in there. So I'm so happy with the surgeon that I had. Just having the right doctor to do this was I know the right thing to do and yeah he did a great job so I've got the implants just sitting over there and also this this capsule skin as well um, and it feels very good it feels so good I feel like I've got my life back and I feel like I've got a fresh I don't know I, I'm just so excited about healing and 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 life and what happens after this so um, yeah just ah. Oh. I did it. I can't believe it. I did it. Yes. I had the surgery last night. Um, everything went really well. I was scared of doing it. I will tell you, getting rolled in there was really nerve-wracking, but I just kept Tallulah and Josh in my thoughts and... Um, we got it done, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, and the doctor was amazing. He did, he, he, everything that I could have wanted and more. So yeah. um, I don't have any concerns about this anymore. Things have been sent off to pathology. Um, and the implants are out, so... Oh, did they take the implants? No, I've packed them. Oh, you packed them. <laughs> I've taken them home. <laughs> it feels like... I'm coming back to myself and I don't have these things on me anymore so I'm really excited about healing and just my body back again to how it is so yeah, yeah. I don't know it doesn't it's not a sad thing for me it's it's actually quite a nice thing you know so liberating yeah yeah it's liberating yeah it's just really nice so yeah yeah, yeah. I won't show you because it's pretty gross, but I do still have drains that are attached to my um, my, my incisions because um, any fluid that's kind of built up there will um, just drain out the sides to help prevent infection. Um, so it's a bit annoying, but I'll have those for the next few days. Once it starts to have like very limited fluid, then I can have them removed. But until then, they have to stay. So. Uh, it's going to make life a little bit challenging, like I can't shower my whole body. Um, I can like wash myself with a cloth and I can't get them wet. And it's also going to be hard with Tallulah as well, like she, she jumps and climbs all over me all day. So um, yeah, but we'll get by. I think Josh is going to be pretty busy this next week with Tallulah. Um, yeah. And I'm pretty much just going to be hanging out. Hanging out, <laughs> um, babe. Do Rest up. Or, Rest yeah. up and heal. Yeah, but... Yeah, good work, Mama. <laughs> High five, itty bitty. Yeah. Oi! Hey, hey. Well, it's five days post op. Today I had an appointment with my doctor. Um, he redid my bandages underneath and then also took the drains out. So um, that's really good. I have no infection and I'm healing really well. So I'm really happy, but I am still living in this. This is what I have had to wear post surgery. It's actually a belly band that you wear like after you give birth to kind of pull your stomach in. And so it's super, super tight. I don't know if you can see how much it digs into like my whole body but it's really tight it's there to like compress it and it helps with healing I'm not in any pain for the last few days I've only had Panadol and um, I haven't had any since this morning it's only I just need to try to minimize how much I'm moving and especially with my arm movements be very careful I still haven't had a full shower I've been bottom showering and then just like scrubbing the top part 
um, because we really want to keep my incisions dry so that I don't end up with any infection. So I think uh, I'm just going to go as long as I can like this and um, just really take it easy for as long as I can as well because the sooner I heal the better. I haven't really looked at them yet, I've looked down at them but I haven't looked in the mirror at them yet um, and so yeah I don't know. You still want to take that but, off here though? Yeah this is like needs to be here and so I just want to let them heal as much as they can. They are going to um, fluff out over the next few months um, and so they're going to be changing so whatever they look like now that's not what they're going to look like in a few months time so I'm just being patient and uh, giving myself some grace. Come on baby take a leap of faith We are day two into our road trip back to Phuket that's worth a wait Darling, you've been on my mind Well, here they are. This is the left one. This one was ruptured. Uh, you can see the bag is really sticky. There's this residue that's coming out. When I had these implants put in, they were told that these are safe because if you can cut them open and they stay together, um, but all that sticky stuff is silicon that would have been leaking into my body. And then there's also, you can see the big cut here. It was broken there and there was also a little break on the side. So this implant, I think, would have ruptured at the six or seven year mark. Oh, that is so gross. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, my, I'm just so glad that I got this out of my body. So I didn't realize that I was actually suffering from breast implant illness, which is a lot of symptoms that are associated with having breast implants. I don't think it's a medically diagnosed condition yet because no one wants to investigate this, I guess. There's a lot of women that have had breast implants that have come together on forums and stuff that have shared their experiences and there's literally hundreds of thousands of women experiencing the same symptoms. And so it's still not clarified yet of like what exactly it is or why this ha is happening. But just with so many women that are having the same experience, it's pretty damning evidence in my opinion that that these that that it can happen to people with breast implants so i had a lot of like strange health issues that i put down to being a new mum and also um i did have a misdiagnosis of something else and so some of those symptoms i was actually putting onto that a general feeling of being unwell and it made me lose my confidence it made me feel like something was wrong with my life or like maybe this wasn't I wasn't cut out for what we're doing because I just didn't feel good I just felt like I was going through some kind of postpartum thing now that this feeling of unwellness has lifted I just feel like I've got myself back again it's really really crazy and from the very first moment I woke up out of surgery the brain fog that I was experiencing had literally gone like I I've been saying to Josh over the last few years that I've been struggling creatively. I struggle to like write Instagram posts. I struggle to write voiceovers. All these things that used to come really easily and naturally to me, I was really struggling with. It's only been a short time since I've had them removed, but already I, my brain fog has gone. My eye floaters have gone. The pain in my arm and my shoulders have gone. Um, my posture is so much better. I got my confidence back. I like love our life I love what we're doing and this is a hundred percent what I know I want to do but I was just this feeling of unwellness made me feel nervous about being in remote places um, and so my anxiety has also gone like I have waves of anxiety um, or I guess stress that come but it's always at a time where it is rational and it comes and then it goes as soon as that has the the 
you know, the stressful thing has ended. If you're thinking about getting breast implants or you already have them, I really want to raise awareness about breast implant illness. I think it's something that should be looked into, especially if you are someone that got them done 20 or 30 years ago. This information wasn't around back then. And also a lot of the women that had them done uh, 20 or 30 years ago were told at the time that breast implants can last the, your whole entire life and this is not the case they need to be replaced every 10 years so please if you have older implants um, just start making a plan to have them either replaced or removed not only can breast implants cause breast implant illness it's also linked to higher cases of fibromyalgia Hashimoto's disease mixed connective tissue disorders as well as rare type of cancer also the implants don't need to be ruptured or leaking to cause health issues just them being inside your body can cause these reactions so if you have breast implants and you're suffering from strange health issues that you just cannot pinpoint I highly recommend that you look into breast implant illness and and speak about this with your doctor because it could be caused from your implants and I'm not saying that every woman in the world who has breast implants is going to suffer from these things I'm just bringing awareness to it that this can happen and it is something that more and more women are speaking about with implants thank you so much Yosh you are my rock you've been taking care of me and you've really really been so supportive throughout this whole thing I am also blown away by you and um, you've uh, really helped out with Tallulah as well I you know I can't lift her at the moment so you've really come in and just pulled just pulled it all together so thank you Josh <laughs> <Mwah>. <laughs> That's it, I'm so happy to put this behind me. These do not make me more feminine. Um, and a huge thank you to everyone that commented on the last video. I was absolutely blown away and touched and all of those beautiful comments I was not expecting. And I mean, hundreds and hundreds of positive, just reaffirming, like, amazing comments so thank you so much for showering me with love and i hope that if there's anyone else out there that is thinking of explanting like those it's just seeing such a powerful message to 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 put your health first and you know you're more than just your appearance and you are enough so thank you so much i am just blown away so thank you so much okay I'm so glad to put this behind me and let's just get back to boat life hey <laughs> thank you guys Mwah.